Yes, shalom everybody, shalom Facebook, shalom TikTok, I welcome all of you in the name of the Lord. I want to request you to share the live, I want us to start at exactly midnight, so share the live, share the live with somebody. TikTok, keep tapping the screen, Facebook, share it on your profile, other platforms. We have four minutes, we have four minutes, and then we start. Yes, we have two minutes. We have two minutes to start, so keep sharing the live.
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We invite your power, your presence, we invite your mercy, Lord. Minister to us today. Lead us and guide us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Yes, I welcome all of you today yeah, for this service, midnight service. Yeah, so today um, it's supposed to be a prayer day. I'll pray. Of course, we'll pray. We must pray. Uh, but um, according to what the Holy Ghost led me to do, um, I'll talk. I'll talk about the prophetic ministry briefly, and then uh, I pray for people. Yeah. So um, I'll start by today's theme is the prophetic ministry is given to profit all, or to profit the church. The prophetic ministry is given to profit the church. Remember the prophetic ministry and prayer, they go together. They go together. So uh, I'll talk about it and then I'll be able to pray and prophesy to, to people today. But I want us to understand something first. It's good to, to move with understanding. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, it says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all, referring to spiritual gifts that have been mentioned in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. The manifestation of, this, of the Spirit, the giftings, uh, spiritual gifts. And I'll be talking about the prophetic ministry. Uh, under the prophetic ministry, you have around uh, four gifts that are... Um, uh, mainly prophecy, discernment, yeah, word of knowledge, word of wisdom. Yeah. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy, and discernment. Yeah, those are the four uh, giftings that are under the prophetic ministry. So the Bible says they are, they are there to profit all. And it profits other people, not you. The gift is supposed to profit other people. The gift is not given, like the gift I have is not for myself. It is for the church, it's for other people. Uh, because sometimes I, whenever I want to uh, understand some things about myself, it's a struggle because I have to use faith, I have to use the word. But when it comes to other people, I get it immediately. And I get it very clearly. But when it comes to me, I have to use faith because the gift is facing outwardly. It does, it's not facing me. Uh, the gifts are facing like just like a satellite. Uh, I know some of us have seen this earth satellite. They face away from a particular direction. So that's how gifts are. They face away from you. So they are not there to serve us or the people who bear the gift. The gifts have been given to serve other people. And the most important thing I've seen, to profit. So any man or woman of God that you, you come across and you sit under the administration, they're gifting. One thing you need to see is profit. I know all of us understand business, whether you own a business or not, but you have an idea. There's no way you'll be doing business and you don't profit. You cannot open a business for long and you get losses. After some time, you'll go under and close that business. And the Bible is telling us, the Bible has taken a business language that the gifts they are for the church to profit people. So when the gift is ministered unto you, or you come under the influence of the gifts, you are supposed to see profit in your life. That's if you come across a servant of God that has the spirit of God, who has been sent by God. You are supposed to profit. So you are supposed to get an addition and a multiplication in your life. That's a sign. However, if you come under the influence of a diviner, a sangoma, a false prophet, a tarot card reader, any person that is not from God, but they can see, they can tell you things accurately, they can predict, uh, then you'll encounter losses. It means that they'll take something away from you spiritually. Some people you'll encounter them and then you lose your marriage. Other people you'll encounter them, then you discover your job is gone, your business is collapsing, there is no peace in your home, there's no peace of mind, 
uh, others you can become mad you lose your sanity it is the nature and the source of the gifting so that's how you can discern if you ever met a woman of god that came across you and they are calling themselves prophetess or prophet and after ministration you discover you've lost your peace you're not comfortable it means that you have lost something they have taken away something from you but if you meet a woman of god or a man of god uh, in the prophetic ministry they'll begin to give you additions multiplication you just feel that something has been added unto me it can begin spiritually the word should encourage you the first thing you encounter strength spiritual strength you feel encouraged by the prophetic word you feel very encouraged you your strength comes back yeah you feel like now you can pray even your prayer life changes because while god has designed ministry ministry is the impartation of life something leaves me and comes to you so uh, some some of you will begin to find that you're praying a lot uh, some of you will, will discover that you are dreaming uh, you're having visions and you're loving god more some of us will be, begin to discover that you are you are compelled to move in righteousness uh, others you are compelled to repent uh, others will be compelled to do the right thing why because there is Zoe the life of God has been transferred from a prophetic vessel to you through prophetic ministration so it goes beyond uh, what we think or what we see with our physical eyes it is a transfer of life ministry is a transfer of life so be careful where you put your head or with the people you receive from because they can transfer error they can transfer immorality they can transfer lies and I'll be reading further here I'll be teaching you something about prophet today I'll be talking about the prophet of the prophetic ministry Jeremiah 7 verse 8 to 11 Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 8 to 11 Behold you trust in lying words so Jeremiah 7 8 to 11 Behold you trust in lying words that cannot profit Now any person that you meet who is not from God any prophet uh, any person calling themselves prophet but they are not two prophets they are false the diviners sangoma starok and readers all those groups they usually, they normally lie they can give you facts about your life but along the way there is a lie somewhere and that lie is what will eat you up and spiritually a lie has been represented by a snake so you'll meet some people and then after some time you begin to see snakes in your dream So God was addressing those people telling them behold you trust in lying words God was speaking to uh, to the children to his children telling them you trust in lying words that cannot profit will you still murder commit adultery falsely um burn incense to Baal walk after other gods whom you do not know then come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name we are delivered to do all the abominations and these words were being given by and these words were being given by false prophets who are telling them peace peace when there was no peace so you trust in lying words so uh, these false prophets diviners they lie and when they lie to you they introduce a snake in your life and that snake will begin to walk in every department of your life it will begin it will affect your belief system it will affect your faith it will affect your lifestyle so false prophets they release lies so if you have ever met a woman or a, a man of god and then after some time you begin to see snakes they have they, they have administered lies to you and those lies will begin to eat you up but i pray for you if you have ever contacted a false prophet or, or a woman of god or a, a man of god without your knowledge may god deliver you may that loss you encountered begin to turn into profit let me read another scripture Ezra chapter 6 verse 14 Ezra 6:14 says so the elders of the Jews built and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Iddo and they built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel and according to the commandment of Cyrus Darius and the Texas king of Persia yeah another day, the same dimension of the pro, of the prophetic you prosper 
when the prophetic words come towards you, you cannot avoid prospering. So two prophets stood in the midst of the people, that is Haggai and Zechariah. The Bible says the elders of the, of the Jews built and they prospered. So when the prophetic ministry come, comes in contact with your life, you begin to build. Because it's a building grace. It encourages you and also you begin to build yourself uh, even physically. And they prospered. It releases prosperity in the life of the people. That's how God has designed it. We found it like that is in the scripture. You find yourself prospering. And they built and finished. So it gives you a finishing mentality. It gives you a finishing grace. So if you've been struggling to finish school, struggling to finish a project, struggling to achieve a particular thing, when you come in contact with a true and pure prophetic grace, you'll find yourself finishing that thing. That's how it works. I thought to share it with you so that you understand these things, uh, so that you know exactly what you're doing. So uh, today uh, I want to prophesy over people I pray with you. But before we go there, I want us to pray um, for ourselves first and tell God anywhere you have gone to a false ministry, false prophetic ministry, false altar, false church, false ministry, and they did something to you. They introduced a snake. They, they, they taught you lies. Some have been given so many things, holy water, holy orange, holy apple, your house is full of articles. If you discover that you're going to a place they're giving you so many physical things so that you can pray with them, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. Our faith is not based on physical things. Faith is just faith based on the word of God and your heart. So I don't need to put on a special dress so that my prayers can be heard. I don't need to put on special shoes. I don't need to swallow something physically. Yeah, even uh, by the use of anointing oil, it is prescribed. You must use it specifically when there are ceremonies. Somebody is being anointed. Uh, Somebody is being, uh, there's a sick person at home. Elders have been told to go and anoint the sick for healing. Or the Holy Ghost has given you express instructions to apply oil in a specific place in your house. That's how you use oil. You don't just uh, buy uh, oil and then you every time you wash, wash your hands with the oil, all the time you smear oil everywhere. Uh, that's error. That's error. These things are done under the influence of the Holy Ghost. They are done under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Don't just uh, start doing them. You'll fall into error. And I came to discover any person that um, operates prophetic instructions without the Holy Spirit, you'll find that this person, demons will come and, uh, and pursue you and follow you. Demons like to have legal grounds on, on why they should follow you. So I want us to pray. If you have ever contacted a false ministry and they took something away from you, they took your money spiritually, they took your marriage, they took your peace, we want to pray that may God restore everything you have ever lost in the hands of false prophets, false prophetesses uh, to divine us. You have lost to tarot card readers, to psychics. There are many. There, Okay, these devilish people are many, but they're in one category. Soothsayers, they were there even in the old olden times, uh, during the days of Daniel, they were there. Uh, so these people are old. Astrologers, there are those who teach about the stars. Uh, they predict your life with the knowledge of the stars, the alignment of the heavenlies. Uh, it's called astrology, not astronomy. Astronomy is fine. That is a scientific study of the heavenly bodies. But astrology is the study of heavenly bodies with the mind of how they influence human behavior. That is demonic. So most of us have ever encountered these ministries uh, by accident or you, you are ignorant. You are just told, let us go somewhere. You'll find help. So I want us to pray and tell God anywhere we have ever encountered false ministry. Father, forgive me and delete it. We want to delete it right now. Father, just pray for yourself before I begin to minister to people. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray today. We delete any uh, demonic establishment, demonic inspiration, uh, demonic thing that has been done in our spirits and our souls because we entered the wrong place, wrong church, wrong ministry. 
uh, the wrong person laid their hands on us and the uh, spirit of lies came, a uh, spirit of deception. They took your joy, they took your peace, they took your marriage, they took your wealth, they took your job. By the mercies of God, may God restore it. May God restore it. May God restore it. Pray for yourself. May God restore it. Kalanda la masin de gras. Babanda kabara grando bush. Granda bahande de desh. Begin to pray. Libronda kasigra. Rabba baba bashende. Tell God. Tell God to reverse any a spiritual activity that has come to you by virtue of crossing the path of the prof, a false ministry. It can be a false apostolic, but so long as it's not from God, we reverse it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Masha Katala Granda, Matobo Shede Granda Baba Baba, Lebe Dibi Granda Bashude Bede Granda Bahande, Nasa Katabala Bush, Ibakana Masuko Tobolo Granda, Raka Baba Baba Grando Bush, Kada Bada Bada Granda Bada Bashede Gra. Robo shede bede bede grande bede bede grande bede bede grande bush kodo ba zende de 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 kodo ba shanda grande ba 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 di ba grande bush kodo ba zende grande ba 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 in the name of Jesus yes I'm seeing as though some people have been tied with ropes each time you encounter uh, divination false ministry. You are tied. Some people have been tied so many times. Ten times, five times, sixteen times. I set you free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, it is done. It is done. Now I want to pray with the people. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the moderator to put some names uh, on TikTok. Yeah, but uh, I can start with um, Facebook. Yeah, Pamela Monye. I speak favor upon your life. You shall not delay. In the realms of the spirit, I saw delay has been around you for so many years. But today, I disconnect you from delay. You shall not delay, Pamela, in the name of Jesus. May you start to walk towards your purpose in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, joyful Wambua, prepare for God as, as anointed you for something big. Yeah, there's some work God is releasing you to do. I see you as a prayer warrior. And the kind of prayer you'll be making for people, the kind of assignment God is giving you, you'll prepare a table for people. You have a heavy anointing. When you pray for people, things change. Uh, Wambua, uh, joyful, I want to encourage you, even if you are trusting God to do some things for you, for yourself, but the anointing you have has a result. So begin to do your work. God will sort you out as soon as you begin to do that. You have a powerful anointing. is able to uh, is able to do wonderful things in the name of Jesus. I'm very sorry. I can't see my TikTok well unless I push it up a little bit. Just excuse me. Michael, how are you doing? Uh, prepare for God is about to lift you. I saw people carry you in the air and the Lord is telling me uh, that you're being lifted in this season. In the name of Jesus. On Facebook, I see Jacqueline Okoba. I, I release what is yours. I see some things coming upon your hands. I see your hands shining. And the Lord is telling me the prosperity you've been waiting for has been released already. Jacqueline, receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, on TikTok, I see Evelyn. Evelyn, I release grace for you to expand. You've been limited. I saw as though walls have been built around your, your life. You can't even stretch. You can't even do bigger things. But today, by the mercies of God, an expansion grace has come upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, mercy, asante. Uh, prepare for an expansion as well. I see your walls being broken. I see you pushing walls 
uh, separate ways, meaning God is giving you an expansion. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, and things will fall in place. Don't look at what people are saying or listen to people because I see a program. Uh, behold, I am just going through your program. There's an order with which things will happen. God will bring people who will start to partner with you and help you. So uh, your life will start changing whenever these people start coming into your life. And that's what I see for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, that is Titus, right? Yeah, Titus, I'm, I'm removing wrong friends. I saw two people who are walking alongside you. They are not good people, but you call them your friends because I saw swords in their hearts. They hate you secretly, but you don't know. So these people will betray you and it will be bad for you. But because you're here, I remove bad, bad eggs from your company right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know the full meaning of Pau, uh, but I release your prosperity. There's some money that was supposed to come to you two years ago, but because of diabolic work, that money has delayed. But I saw an angel of prosperity releasing that money to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Monica, how are you doing? Uh, there is favor upon your face. You shall not be rejected. People shall begin to accept you. So uh, I see favor that will work for you. It will open tremendous doors for you. And I'm, so, I'm also seeing a desire in your heart for you to know God more. God will feel that thirst. That desire, that thirst, God will feel it. You will know great things in God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, delight. Uh, I see expansion coming towards you. Yeah. I print for Paula. Yeah, Paula, I release the things that are, have been with the hell for many years. They are coming to you. You shall not delay no more. That delay is gone in the name of Jesus. Rachel from Kenya, there is a tremendous favor coming upon your face. People shall look at you and invite you over uh, to some tables, important tables. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Kevin, I'm removing failure spirit. You shall not be failing all the time. That spirit I commanded to live right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, glory, a queen. I'm protecting your life from premature death. I see a meeting be held spiritually. I saw two women who are doing enchantment over your life. Yeah, any witch in your father's side of the family. I saw them doing enchantments and they called your name and you appeared in a screen. But because you're here, I enter the realms of the spirit. I reverse any transaction that is touching you. You shall not die before your time in the name of Jesus. I pray for longevity. Longevity over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Ponki. Yeah, I see a freshness. I see a fresh wind coming towards your life. And the Lord is telling me new things are about to come to our life. So new things are coming your way, Ponki. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, on Facebook, M M M Maria Thrift. Yeah, I speak favor over the work of your hands. You shall not be dry. Your pockets won't be dry. I speak plenty in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jemima, permanence is coming upon your hands. You do things, but they don't last. I see you attempt to do things, but they don't last. I saw a wind from the east. That wind will carry away everything you're trying to do. But I stop that wind. I reverse that wind. From today, things shall outlast you. Which means you shall be doing things here. And after even after you're gone, those things shall remain. The businesses, the projects, the culture shall remain in the name of the legacy. In the name of Jesus. Uh, that uh, Ma Marita. Is it Marita? Uh, Malawi. Yes, Marita. Okay. Uh, prepare for somebody special is about to come in. I see oh I see somebody coming into your life and your life changed. And if you've been trusting God to get married, it might be. It might be. I don't want to be conclusive when it comes to marriage. Things to do with the love and marriage. Uh, but I saw uh, somebody walk into your life and then you started to smile 
and love. Receive it in the name of Jesus. If you're here for the first time, follow us on Tank Screw. Your derby people will celebrate you. I see God bringing relief. Yeah, some relief in your life at least for change. It's coming to you right now in the name of Jesus. Ngalula. Is it Ngalula? Yeah, there is favor for you to do well. Yeah, God has restored a favor you lost two years ago. So you did some things two years ago and you lost your favor. Remember there are some things you can do and then you lose your favor. But I saw that favor being restored over your life in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Trish, any warfare that was around your finances it has come to an end. Any people that usually take what is supposed to come to you. If money is supposed to come to you, some people already know spiritual things. They enter the realms, they collect all the favors that are supposed to come to you, and then they take it on themselves. But I release that back to you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Deborah, yeah, I see fire in your eyes, and the Lord is telling me you're a prophetic vessel. You will see dreams, you will see visions, and many people shall benefit from your ministry. They shall profit. Yeah, in case you need to be assisted and mentored, you can come to my my DM. Um, we look at that in the name of Jesus. Uh, that is melody. There is favor for you to travel. I see a passport in your hand, and I saw a, a, a visa. God has opened the doors for the nations to you. So go and prosper in the name of Jesus. Yeah, TikTok, if you're joining us for the first time, follow us. You can follow us and tap that screen. Yeah, Joseph, uh, prepare for God is about to give you things you lost many years ago. I see restorations coming to you. Apostle, how are you doing? Uh, Apostle Malik, there's something big that is supposed to come to you, but you need to pray. God is about to give you influence. I saw you on television, I saw you on radio. You'll be, uh, uh, I'm looking for the right word, well sought after minister of the gospel. I saw the media, you became a darling of the media, and then everybody wanted to invite you to the radio or the television. So receive grace for fame in the name of Jesus. Agnes, be careful about people. Don't just open your doors to everybody. Others have been sent to terminate your life. So may God protect you from evil friends in the name of Jesus. I've already prayed for you. Oh, you did not hear. And I usually, I usually don't retain what I say. I usually don't retain what I say. Yeah. You're a prophetic person. I've just been, you're a prophetic person. Uh, you, you'll help so many people with the prophetic gifting. Give them direction. Heal their life. So in case you need mentorship, you can come to my direct message and then I, I guide you further. Felicity, I see the transformation of the mind. I see an angel touching your mind, which means the, the wrong thoughts, evil thoughts are moving away. God is giving you fresh thoughts, clean thoughts in the name of Jesus. Stephen, I'm protecting your life from premature death. Nobody shall drink your blood. Any person that is pursuing you spiritually, I pray for you that they won't catch up with you in the name of Jesus. on TikTok, follow us on Tumblr School. Yeah, edify in your eyes, you're a prophetic seer, you'll see so many things, and I pray that you may also understand what you're seeing. May God give you that grace to understand what you're seeing in the name of Jesus. It is done. In case you need mentorship, come to the DM, and when it comes to the prophetic, in the name of Jesus. Mandela. It's Mandela. Connected from Botswana. I see fire upon your feet. You are an evangelist. You shall traverse the world for the sake of the gospel. I activate that anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Yes, Isaac Oteri. I'm praying for your family. I'm, remo I'm removing wrong people in your midst. Some people who are connected to you by blood don't like you that much. They are just there, but in their heart, they hate you. So may God protect you from household wickedness in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see Susan. Yeah, Susan, I see travel doors open. You shall travel and it will bring profits to you. That travel door is open right now in the name of Jesus. It's open already in the name of Jesus. Myra, on Facebook, I pray for your mom. Alice, I protect your mom from premature death. I see a spell cast over your mom. Any man that you, oh, let me not go into details, don't help. But I reverse premature death. I break those spells that are on the head of your mom right now. In the name of Jesus. Sandra, travel doors are opening, but be careful about male friends. The Lord is telling me, if men like to come where you are, some of them don't have a good intention, so be careful about male friends. That's what I hear in the name of Jesus. Yeah, TikTok tap the screen and follows. Kevin, uh, I think I'll call your mom tomorrow. Uh, I want to pray for her privately, so I'll call your mom tomorrow. Uh, Sophie, there is fire upon your hands. And the Lord is telling me you have a healing virtue. When you lay hands on people, they shall be well. They shall get healed. I hope you plan to do what God is calling you to do. So there's a ministry of healing in you, like a healing evangelist. I develop that ability right now. Saying, pray for my brother Freddy. I hope the is still there. I hope he's still there. Because I want to pray for my brother. Yeah, Jackson, I pray for your sister Helen. Uh, I just protect her against confusion. I saw your Helen split into two. And the Spirit of God is telling me there's a heavy spirit of confusion and that has come upon Helen. Helen, you are sister. I command that confusion to live right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, the Amber said I prayed for my brother, right? Okay, uh, the Amber prayed for brother Freddy. I see a spirit of defeat. Anything he tries to do does not go anywhere. Any incantation that have ever been done over his life. In fact, a picture. I'm seeing a picture on an altar. And this person was making incantations over the picture of your brother. I delete and I cancel those incantations in the name of Jesus. As some town TikTok, there is fire in your eyes. From today, you shall begin to see dreams and visions. They will be very vivid. In case you need mentorship, you can come to the inbox. I see Grace Maura, Maura, on, Grace Maura on, on Facebook. You are about to start a new journey. In the spiritual realm, I saw you dress. You put on new shoes and you started a journey. The Lord is telling me you are about to do something that you have never done before in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, on TikTok, I'm seeing rose. I see fire all over you, which means you have been the subject of gossip. Many people are talking about you and the negative but today since you're here i reverse every negative word that has been spoken over your life in the name of jesus sylvia how are you doing yeah okay yeah sylvia um 
I want to ask you a question but I cannot ask you previously. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I cannot ask you publicly, sorry. Uh, I cannot ask you publicly. Um, uh, I'll talk to you privately. There's something I've seen and I, I don't want to ask a question publicly. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, joyfully saying, pray for my brother Maurice Muli. Yeah, I'm praying for Maurice Muli. I remove any voice in his head. Muli usually he has voices in his head. Yeah, suggestions. So I pray for his mental health. If you're not, if you're not careful, you'll find yourself moving him in a hospital, mental hospital. But I reverse that order. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Don't happen in the name of Jesus. Yeah, feel this. There is fire all over you. I remove the voice of gossip from around your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sabrina, I see fire all over you. Any people who are discussing about you, talking about you, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Michelle Njoroge, there is a partnership deal that is about to show up in your doorstep. So I see you do extremely well because God is about to give you the wealth of the nations. I see you as a wealthy woman because God will bring people who will partner with you then you will get better results in the name of Jesus. Korea, there's something you need to do. You need to get a gift and give it to a man of God. I saw you are very short spiritually. You don't know, you don't have the height to reach out your blessing but as soon as you follow my instruction you'll find yourself uh, being able to access some things. So get a a gift and give it to a man of God you trust and you believe that you're a man of God. Uh, Victor and Joey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm just praying for your health. No arrow shall touch your health. Yeah, just pr I protect your life. I pray for divine health over, um, over your life. You shall not be admitted in hospital because of ailment, infirmities. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. That's what I see. May God protect you in the name of Jesus. I see the name Lucille. Is it Lucille? There's an enemy in your father's house. I'm seeing a woman putting on dark garments and doing enchantments. So you are connected by blood to a diviner. Uh, so in your family, you have a diviner, and that person usually mentions all of you. And sometimes you feel confused and tired. Uh, you don't know why sometimes you just wake up. You feel tired and confused. It's the spells that are being uh, pronounced by people that is person one person that is connected to you by blood i reverse every spell over your life i reverse it right now in the name of jesus you won't be confused i see peter's son you're about to travel because i saw an airport i saw a passport i saw visa i saw you jump from one place to the other receive it in the name of jesus Oh, always tired, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm not saying that you go and investigate the person. You need to fight things spiritually. Just kneel down and pray. Don't try to figure out is it this auntie, is that? No, 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 no. That's not how we do it. Uh, we do it spiritual. Uh, Linda from Zimbabwe. I see an anointing on your head. You are a leader. You're supposed to influence the masses. God is telling me he will use in the end times to gather people for his glory. So Linda, I see a poor oh, a leadership. A yeah, pastor, in fact, pastor. A pastoral gift, a leadership gift. You shall bring people together uh, for the purpose of the end time revivals in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Juliet, fire is upon your hands. You shall heal people as well. You are an, an evangelistic vessel. You shall draw people to Jesus and I activate that ability right now in the name of Jesus. Nelly, how are you doing? You're about to encounter Christ in a new way. I see a voice of the voice of God increasing in your life. You will know so many things about heaven. God will open your eyes to have encounters. Yeah, it's going to happen to you right now in the name of Jesus. I see the name Ruth, fire is all over you. You are a subject of gossip. Any gossip around your life, I remove it. Any people are sitting down to discuss you, I reverse it and I remove it in the name of Jesus. I see Lillian, Becky, I see fire on your path. 
the Lord is telling me you're about to go through trials, but don't give up because your character, your patience is being trained. So you'll find that people will begin to fight you a lot. Uh, you'll find yourself at loggers with people, but the Lord is telling me don't give up. You're being trained for what is coming. You are supposed to be a great woman. However, you must pass through the fire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I see Esther on TikTok. I saw people clap for you and the Lord is telling me the honor that was supposed to be upon your mom is coming on you. So uh, this, this honor that is coming upon you and people shall clap for you in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Zablon, I see beauty coming upon you. The Lord is telling me he's going to open doors in your life and it will come as beauty. Yeah. Beauty is not only for men, for women, even for men. Beauty is just beauty. It's coming upon your face. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Sylvia Mulenga. Yeah, I released things that were supposed to, to have come to you five years ago. Five years ago, I saw those are doors that was open for you to receive finances and many things, but some people blocked those doors. But I saw an angel open the doors that was supposed to have opened five years ago. It is done. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I see this name, Lynette. Every voice again is your destiny. I reverse the pronouncement of altars that have been erected to see that you get defeated. They are gone right now in the name of Jesus. I see the name Lucy Mbubua. Uh, you are the God's favorite. God will not abandon you. I see an embrace. God, God embracing you. So don't worry about what is happening around you in the name of Jesus. Uh, that is Zit Kundi. Yeah, Kundi, any enemy of progress against your finances, I reverse it and I pray for finances all my life in the name of Jesus. Okay. Yeah, Kawira, there's something big that is about to come, but you're weak. Pray more. I want you to increase your prayer life so that you can gather momentum and strength to bring some things to come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, Miriam Nehemiah, there is fire upon your feet. You shall do many things. God is activating an ability for you to speak for him. So uh, the fire on your feet represents the gospel. God will give you the courage and the anointing to speak to women and they shall listen to you in the name of Jesus. I'm opening doors that were shut by the sins of your father. Anything your father did when he was growing up, and instead of the, de uh, the devil punishing him, he transferred the punishment on you. I reverse it and I, I pray for mercy. May God forgive the sin of your dad and may your doors reopen in the name of Jesus. That lady, right? Lydia, beauty for ashes. I see beauty coming upon you. She shall open doors for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lucy, fire all over you. I remove gossip and every negative word that is being spoken against you in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Familiarity. Anything that you, you missed in life, I see it coming back. There's some so many things you ever missed in life. I saw them coming back to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name. That is Bridget. Yeah, I see an announcement, and your name was being mentioned, and you are you are well known. There is the grace for popularity that is being released over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Alexander Mulenga, yeah, prepare for God is about to remove that voice. Uh, what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm looking at your, where your mother comes from. I'm seeing obituaries, a lot of obituaries. There's the spirit of death uh, that is hovering around. Uh, 
people from your mom's side of the family. But since you're here, I'm using you as a point of contact. Any death spirit that is hovering around where your mom comes from, your maternal side, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. You shall not go to funeral upon funeral. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Isaac from Lusaka, there is favor that has come upon your life. You shall not be rejected. I see acceptance coming to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jay from Pretoria, any person that took your wealth uh, while you were growing up, I reverse it back to you in the name of Jesus. Jenny one joke, your favor and multiplication sign. I'm seeing a multiplication sign around you for increase in the name of Jesus. And you want to, if you're here, want to give your life to Jesus. I want to give an opportunity to uh, to surrender your life to Jesus, to receive Christ, to start afresh. When you backslid, I want to call you to start afresh, to dedicate your life to Christ, and begin to walk this walk in the name of Jesus. So God bless everybody. If you are here and you have not followed us, make sure that you follow us. And I will encourage you to also visit our, um, our YouTube channel. We have amazing teachings. We have prayers there. Some of the things you are seeking, seeking answers for, you might have taught about it or even preached about it. You just need to go to our channel, go through the teachings. And according to your, uh, your need, you can see a teaching that will, will befit you. Just listen to it. It will, benefit, it will profit you a lot. So God bless everybody. The next time we meet uh, is on Wednesday, 9 p.m. East Africa time. Put it in your calendar, 9 p.m. East Africa time. So follow us, follow us and also subscribe so that whenever we come live, you're able to know. Let me just pray for everybody. Father, as I've spoken your word to them, Father, let them profit. In their finances their relationships let them profit at work in their businesses father all around their network let them profit in the name of jesus father i bless their coming in going out anything they do is blessed in the name of jesus god bless you god bless you see you on wednesday